Hello, in this problem we're going to review the price leadership model or sometimes referred to as the dominant firm model. In this price leadership model we're going to have a dominant firm that is setting the industry price and we're going to have a bunch of smaller firms taking that price as a given. This type of problem you're going to be given three bits of information. You're going to be given the market demand curve. So this is the market demand curve. Q equals 40 1700 minus 100 P. You're going to be given information on the market supply of the smaller firms. So smaller firms will respond in this market based on this equation where Q subscript S, the quantity supply to smaller firms equals 700 plus 25 P. And finally the third bit of information that you need is the dominant firm's cost structure. So let's assume that the dominant firm has a total cost equal to 100 times QD plus 0 0.008 times QD squared, where the D is the rep the D subscript represents the dominant firm's output. From the total cost equation, we can get marginal cost, taking the derivative of total cost with respect to the dominant firm or the price leadership firm's output. We're left with this equation. So now we're going to solve this problem. We're going to try to find the, the, the market price, how much output the dominant firm produces, and how much output the smaller firms produce. The first thing we want to do is derive the dominant firm's demand equation. The dominant firm's demand equation, Q subscript D, is simply calculated by taking the market demand and subtracting from it the supply curve of smaller firms. The idea behind this is that when the dominant firm is setting its price and output to maximize profits, it wants to know how the smaller firms are going to respond. So we do that uh, by, again, calculating this dominant firm's demand equation, taking into account the behavior of the smaller firms. So let's plug in our equations. So we got the market demand, subtracting the market supply of smaller firms. This will simplify down nicely to 40,000 minus 125p. So we've got the important point out of the way here is getting the market, uh, getting the demand curve for the dominant or price leadership firm. Let's go into a new slide. So starting with the dominant firm or price leadership firm's demand equation, we want to go from this equation to the firm's marginal revenue, the price leadership's marginal revenue equation. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is solve for P. I'm going to divide through here by uh, 125. And we're left with this. So this is the dominant firm's inverse demand equation. We're now going to get total revenue. We're going to plug in this price equation into the total revenue equation. That's all multiplied through by the dominant firm's output. Simplifying slightly by multiplying the dominant firm's output by what's in parentheses. we have that expression. Now let's get marginal revenue. The marginal revenue of the dominant firm is going to be given by this equation right here. So that's the marginal revenue of the dominant firm 
notice the similarity between marginal revenue and the price equation basically identical except for the fact that the the slope here of the marginal revenue equation is twice that of the price equation let's maximize profits then for the dominant firm or the price leadership firm by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost The marginal cost equation right here is just coming from the previous slide after we took the derivative of the dominant firm's total cost equation. Simplifying this down, we get the dominant firm's output, 220 divided by 0.032. 6,875 units. What price will the dominant firm charge? Okay, rewriting our inverse demand and just plugging this 6,875 into the dominant firm's inverse demand equation. If you were to simplify that, you're going to get $265. Let me just highlight that. The next step is just to find the market supply, the quantity supplied by the smaller firms. Let's rewrite the quantity supplied equation of the smaller firms. And all we're going to do is evaluate that equation at the price set by the price leader. And plugging 265 into that equation, you're going to get the quantity supplied by smaller firms of 7,325. So the total market output is just going to be the amount produced by the dominant firm plus the amount produced by all of these smaller firms. and this is going to equal 14,200. Uh, one thing to point out here, this 7,000 units of output, 7,000 plus units of output being produced by the smaller firms, this could be, be this output could be, be uh, could be being produced by say 100 firms. Okay, so each firm is roughly producing only 700 uh, and 30 some units of output. Okay, so this dominant firm is producing a lot more output than any individual smaller firm. Okay, uh, that's how you solve a dominant firm price leadership model. Hope you found this video helpful.